to be this makeup tutorial which is for my 18th birthday which is tomorrow which I'm so excited about. I feel like in every single makeup tutorial I have I never have good hair and it's literally always happened. It's super glam but can you blame me? I'm turning 18 tomorrow. I'm gonna be turning up. Since it is New Year's Eve I thought I'd do this video for you guys because you were very very keen on the idea of me doing a makeup look which was for New Year's. So I really really love it. Like at first when I put the lashes on I was like oh these are too big for me but now I'm just like girl you need big lashes for those pictures. So I'm so excited to do this video because it is a collaboration with my beautiful Leah, Leah Winfield. She is absolutely incredible with makeup. She literally does makeup looks that make me think did you like learn that out of a science book or something that's so technical? Honestly, go check her out. She's probably one of the best people I've ever seen doing makeup. She's such a lovely girl as well, so I'd love it if you go check her out because this is a collab with her. Without further ado, I'm going to let you enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and let me know what other tutorials or videos you'd like to see very soon because this was so much fun and if I'm going to be going out more and more since I'm 18, I will do get ready with me. It's all like full on glams for like the club if you wanted to see that. Happy New Year to all of you who will celebrate it and I hope you have the best night and have a lot of fun. I'm not going to tell you to restrain yourself. Have fun. I love you all so 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 much. Let's try and get to 20k subscribers. Probably won't happen but let's do it because tomorrow is the end of the year but why not aim high? See you all soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm aware I look super brown right now. It's because I just applied tan. I'm going to wash it off later. So don't hate me. I know it looks blotchy, but if you haven't done tan before, then you might not know that when you wash it off or wash after you put the tan on, you look a lot more even. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y225. massive spot on my head. Luckily it's not like um, a huge one that's going to be so 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 difficult to cover. This one's just sort of a big bump and it hurts quite a lot but I'm just going to put it over that and also under my eyes. And now for some L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer. Too Match Concealer in number two. Mm, I can tell this is a little bit light for me because of the tan at the moment but bronzer will save my life. So I'm using the Matte Maker um, powder in Sun Beige and I'm just going to slightly like place it under my eye and then just dot it like around my face slightly. I don't know how to explain. I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and I'm just going to put this, well not just, I'm just going to put it all over my face to be honest um, because I want to do my eye makeup whilst it's baking because then once you dust it off and if you have any um, if you have any fallout you can just dust that off with it. I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera if you want an eyebrow routine I will show you in a bit but I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and uh, 2 in 1 Archery Brow by Seven Glory and the MAC 266 brush with a sleek brow gel. If you want an eyebrow tutorial, I'll give you one very soon, but for now, this is all you're gonna see. And my eyebrows are done. So as my eyes are already pretty much primed with concealer and everything, I'm just going to use Nudie by uh, the Natural Matte Palette from Too Faced, just as a transition color because um, I am using a lot of color and sort of dark tones. Okay, so I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. Um, a lot of you have requested for me to do a New Year's tutorial with this palette. So I am going to be using a few shades today. So as kind of like a shade underneath the transition shade, I'm going to be using this middle color. Just putting it in the crease as well as the transition shade. I 
And then below that, I'm going to be using this shade. I'm just putting it to go into the lid slightly. So now I'm going to be using the MAC 233 brush with NARS New York eyeshadow. I want to thank Liam for getting this for me. I'm going to feature it in my birthday haul as well. But he got this for me. By the way, everyone's been asking, is Liam your boyfriend? No. Me, Nikki and Liam are like a trio. It's kind of like Harry Potter, but then it's two girls instead of two boys. Me and Nikki are Ron and Harry and then Liam's like Hermione. Does that make sense? I'm going to like put this on the... Um, lid I'm not sure if I used this shade earlier but I'm going to use it again if I did um, it's this sort of like burgundy shade it's a little bit it's like a, no it's a lot less pigmented than the NARS one is so that's a bad thing if like you just want to use it like how I just did but it's good if you just want to use it for the crease to blend out because that's all I'm doing and I'm using the Morphe M139 brush that's enough for the Morphe palette now for this matte palette which I filled up with a few more shadows. I'm just going to use this which I believe is Goddess from Makeup Geek with the uh, Sigma Blending E25 brush and just lightening up everything slightly. So this is the super fun bit. I am going to be using some NYX pigments. I don't even think I picked up the right one. Yeah, this one. So this is Venetian by NYX and I'm obsessed with their pigments. They're such like good quality for only, I think it's 550 or 650. NYX, sponsor me. I'm just such a good spokesperson for you. I'm also going to use the, <laughs> what coincidence, NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand because I don't like having it on my finger and then having too much and stuff. So I put it on the back of my hand and very, very lightly pat and then pat off any excess all over my lid. Because this is going to be quite a lot. I'm going to use the MAC 242 brush. Put it into the, the lid where the product is and just really like, just like touch and then... just like that and now I'm going to use the Morphe M506 brush just to blend all on the, um, the edges of it because when it's too harsh I hate it so I'm just going to spend a while doing that So I really like the way that's blended so far. I'm going to use the um, NARS New York eyeshadow again with the Sigma E25 brush Okay, now the main bit of the eyes complete. Using the MAC uh, Reflex Bronze Glitter, and I've just got a sample of this because I can never get my hands on the whole thing. They only have some like the um, test tester in store. So I remember like ages ago, I was just like, okay, can I just have like a sample of it then? Because I was willing to pay for this, but they just gave it to me for free. So it's I feel like it's more like a pigment than natural glitter. It's not like actual pieces. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use this and pat it in the middle of where I put the other pigment. Again, I'm using that pig, the um, glitter glue from NYX and just literally doing it on top. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to use the primer again just for my... Now I'm just going to carry on sort of blending a little bit more, just for a little while until it looks how I like it, with the Morphe M139 brush. So now is where I like to use the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cosmopolitan. With the, sometimes I don't even know what <laughs> brush I'm about to use and I pretend like I do. I'm going to use the Blending E25 brush again from Sigma. And this sort of is a good middle colour for this look. I like it a lot, so I don't know. I'm kind of like in a debate whether or not I should put another glitter on top 
like very slightly. I think I'm going to put another pigment on it because I want it to be even more glam. It's going to be the NYX uh, Vegas Baby pigment and I'm literally just going to like dot like one near my lash line. So for the lashes, I'm going to be using Peekaboo Lashes in Cover Girl. I've never used these before, but I ordered them specially for this collab with Leah Bay. I just, I always use Ardell Demi Wispies, and I bought two, so on my birthday I'm going to wear the other ones. But they're like super dramatic, and I really, really like the way they look. I think they're going to be a new favourite. Actually, I forgot. I'm going to cut my eyelashes and put a little bit of mascara on there first. Okay, so they are super dramatic. I don't know how to feel about it, but I'm just going to roll with it because this is a tutorial that needs to be up to date. Brushing off that fake, put it, let's do some bronzer. I just realised it's probably not a very good idea for me to be a prime maker when I'm letting like a tan sit in, but... Too late! So now for actual contouring, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Blonde 21. I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones with the MAC Small Stipple Brush. I feel like on camera they look super, super, like you can't even see anything. But in, I don't know, I don't know, I think I'm being paranoid because I haven't had like any longer, um, eyelashes are other than like demi wispy so now i'm going to do the under eye eyeshadow and i'm just going to use a few random brushes with a lot of the products i just used earlier okay since this is so like dramatic of course i've got to do a nude lip although i know you're gonna hate me because i keep doing nude lips nowadays again i'm going to use matte uh mac lipstick which is in honey love and this is a super nice lipstick. And on top, I'm just going to use this tiny bit of Max Lip Lingerie in Push Up and just. This lip is like super pretty. I really like it. And it just doesn't come off. Like it stays on for so, so, so long. I know I use the same highlighter in every single video, but. Um, I'm going to be using the NARS Albatross highlighter with the Morphe M501 brush and a little bit of Fix Plus um, so that when I put it on, it comes up a little bit nicer. The more like I look at this, the more I like this look. I'm definitely doing this for my birthday, I was so excited. And to finish off, I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus. I just. Even though I feel like. This is literally just water in a bottle. I continue to buy it. I just realised how shitty my hair looks this whole tutorial.